Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After inserting a timeline into a worksheet, a new options tab within a new timeline tools contextual tab appears in the ribbon. This tab appears in the ribbon anytime you select the timeline. You can use the buttons within this tab to modify the timeline settings and make other adjustments to it. In the timeline button group at the left end of this tab, you can see and edit the name of the timeline caption within the text box. You can click the Report Connections button to open the Report Connections dialog box where you can select the Pivot Table and Pivot Chart Reports to connect to the selected timeline by checking the check boxes next to the names of the reports to filter with this timeline. Then click the OK button to apply your choices. In the Timeline Styles button group, you can click the style you want to apply to your selected timeline to change its appearance. You can use the buttons within the Arrange button group to change the alignment and placement of the timeline pane in the worksheet. To set the size of the selected timeline pane, use the Height and Width buttons within the Size button group. You can check or uncheck the check boxes in the Show button group to show or hide the associated elements within the timeline. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.